Hey guys, we are back with our Q&A section as one of our subscriber is interested to know the difference between rake and the plunge. Okay, so to explain these two terms, I had referred the books The Structural Geology of Rock and Regions by George Rich Davis, Structural Geology by Hakon Fosen, Structural Geology Fundamentals and Modern Development by S.K. Ghosh and Structural Geology by M.P. Buildings. So let us brush up our basics and we'll go to the rake and plunge. So as a uh, structural geologist, a primary task of a structural geologist is to measure the direction of a particular structure, right? And we can broadly categorize all type of uh, structures into two broad categories that is a planar structure and a linear structure, okay? So what you are seeing here is considered to be a planar structure. As you can see, it has a length and breadth and it forms a plane. So it is a planar structure, right? So when you're dealing with a planar structure in a structural geology, you have two different terms to explain. One is the strike and dip and dip also you have two different categories that is the dip direction and the dip amount. So let us define the strike. The strike is the intersection of uh, imaginary horizontal plane and the plane of interest. So our plane of interest here is considered to be the bedding plane, right? So let this be the bedding plane. So the bedding plane and the intersection of a imaginary horizontal plane. So let us consider this top portion to be perfectly horizontal, right? So if this is perfectly horizontal and if this is the plane of interest which you are going to measure, then this line will be the intersection of that perfectly horizontal plane and the plane of interest, right? So this line will be the strike line. As you know, strike line will be mentioned in terms of direction from the north. So you can consider to measure this line direction to be the strike line's direction. Is that clear? So for a particular uh, plane, this line is the strike line. And dip, as I mentioned earlier, the dip direction is the direction in which the rock is dipping or the plane is dipping here, right? So this plane is dipping towards this direction, which is somewhat near southwest, right? And the dip amount is the amount of inclination of that particular plane with reference to the horizontal. So as I mentioned, this is a perfectly horizontal plane, right? So it will be forming certain angle from this horizontal plane. So this angle will be the dip amount. Okay, is that clear? So let us keep with this aside and we will try to see the same image in a different angle. So if you change your point of view, so this line will be the strike line, right? And this amount that is formed from the horizontal will be the dip amount, right? And this line will be the direction of the dip, okay? So the strike direction and dip direction and dip amount. Is that clear? So these are the three components or uh, shortly two components that you can explain when you are dealing with a planar future okay so let us try to explain a linear future in the same way so here is these are the let us consider these lines as the striations so what is a striation as you studied in geomorphology when a glacier with its load moves over any rock it will try to form grooves or pits over the rock which it moves right so let us let this rock has been moved over by a glacier with the bed load so what happens this bed load will be having contact with this rocks right so wherever the rock is getting contact with the bed load of the glacier that will be making some grooves or pits in this rock and that will form a linear future right so a linear future is a one dimensional future as i mentioned earlier so this is a line like structure why i'm saying it like this right so this future may not have its extension as you move below, okay? So this is just a line that is formed just over this bedding plane. So if, you, if this portion has been eroded, you cannot see any of its extension many times, not below this region. So this is how a linear future is formed. We have different types of lineations like uh, you have uh, striations, lichen lines, all those things, right? So we will keep this with the striations only, okay? So when you are dealing with the linear future, you have to explain two different terms that is the plunge and the trend. 
so let us define what is the trend the trend is the projection of the linear structure onto the horizontal plane okay so this linear future will be having certain direction when it is projected to a horizontal plane like this right so this is a horizontal plane as i mentioned earlier so when this linear future is projected in this horizontal direction it will be showing certain direction right and this direction is termed as trend or plunging direction okay so i'll explain the trend right then what is plunge and the plunge is the angle of the inclination of that particular lineation so when you are measuring the inclined inclination of this particular lineation from horizontal whatever the angle that it makes with the horizontal that will be the angle of plunging or simply called as plunge is that clear so when you are dealing with the linear future you have to describe two terms one is the direction or orientation of this particular line which is called as the trend and the amount of inclination of that particular line which is called as the plunge right is that clear but still the question is not solved as he was asking about the rake which we have not explained right so what is the rake so the rake is the degree of obliquity of that particular plane or we can consider here it as a strike uh, bedding plane with this uh, lineation so the degree of obliquity is given by the pitch also called as the rake which is the angle between the strike of the slip slip surface and the slip vector here the slip surface is the bedding surface or the bedding plane right and the slip vector is the direction of the striation lines so the pitch is the angle between the bedding plane and the trend of this particular striation is that clear okay so generally this pitch or rake can be broadly or generally used that is measured in the fault plane okay in other case it is a quite rare to use but particularly we used to measure the rake or pitch in a fault plane okay is that clear so let us summarize shortly when you are dealing with the planar feature we have to explain what is the strike direction what is the dip direction and what is the dip amount and when you are dealing with the linear future we have to explain what is the trend of that linear future right that is the direction of its orientation and the amount of inclination of the linear future which is the plunge amount and the rake if required that is the angle that it makes with the bedding plane or the plane in which it forms is that clear if you have any other doubt like this just mention it in the comment section we will try to explain in the upcoming videos thanks for watching have a great day